Oh yeah, I definitely see it. This show is dark. The husband was trying to save her wife by feeding her dead cat blood. And then what happens? And then what happens? Forget the butchering of the cats. What happens when she drinks it? She fucking turns into sludge because it was all part of the sorcerer's plan. The sorcerers are purely evil. So far, I don't think there's anyone that's really good. They were gaslighting Elias, saying that he's not human. He has no emotions, which might be actually pretty true. And that he's using Chisei as a test threat. But that probably is kind of true too. But the sorcerer, man, they're, they're built different. They're built different. Let's begin today's reaction. Hey, it's the trap sorcerer. What, I wonder how high ranking he is in the sorcerer's department. I don't know. There must be some kind of like classes of sorcerers, right? She can die trying. Dude, by trying to cleanse her. He keeps mentioning that. Yes, I know she was expensive, but she could die doing this process? I mean, he's doing it. So Renfred is definitely on the side of humans. Hates Elias because obviously not a human. Maybe he has good intentions, but he just sided with the wrong... I mean, who am I to say what the good and the bad side are? I, I have no idea. I think it's a very gray area. Hmm? What? What? Why are they getting all defensive all of a sudden? Someone took Renfred's arm in the past. Maybe it has to do with the scars too? I don't know. There seems to be some a lot of past there though between those two. I hope we get to see more of Renfred in the future. This is the flower petals of at the end. The wife was seeing all bunch of flower petals as we were cleansed her. Now, is the king of the cats gonna be fine? Please don't let her die. Please. I think she's fine. Look, she's still in her arms. Oh, the king is safe. They almost got me, you know, because there was that kid that's awaiting for her. A look of relief. Renfred? It's complex. You can't just label them evil. He truly is the side of humans. He really does seem to care for Chisei. Look how relieved he was. Countless people. There it is again with that teleportation bottle thing. I wanna. That's pretty cool though. It's the other sorcerer. That girl, the sound she made there, that's a uh, the sound of like, oh shit, what's going on? Is there some infighting happening between your sor sorcerers? And she say again passes out every time she uses her power too much. <laughs> he really likes, I mean, he has to carry her, but it's never a piggyback. He really likes carrying her like a bride. That's a good question. Cause she said that with slay beggies, you know, death comes for them. What, what did you mean by that? Three? If nothing's done to what? Okay. It would cause panic? <laughs> experiment is to keep her from dying. I mean, that's a nice experiment. Why not? I mean, you could argue that if she, he didn't take her in? then would she have died in three years regardless of using magic or not? I think it's because she's starting to use magic that in three years she might die. So in that case, Elias is doing us a... not a favor? I don't know. I don't know, man. Halfling. What are you halfling up? What, what, are you, what are you mixed with? Do you have emotions like a human though? Like Renfred said you don't. He doesn't understand them. He can't empathize? Ah, he can't empathize. He can try his best to mimic a human's behavior, but he'll never understand a human. Why people do things out of love or compassion. Even like anger, like, does he feel any of that? Or is he impartial to everything? Maybe he really wants to connect. He really does want to connect with humans. He wants to know what it feels, you know, what it feels to feel. Can his facial expression change? It's just a bone. It's just a skeleton. Huh? No, 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 don't say stuff like that. Stuff like that's kind of scary. I, no. No need to be scared. For a second there, it really looked like Chise was the one that was more adult-like and was looking over a child. 
I mean, that you, bro, the age gap and uh, it's still kind of, it's still kind of weird. It's definitely weird, but you know, between these two, something is brewing, and it's. If you forget, it, it's it's quite wholesome what they just did. Oh, this is where Chisui's been sleeping this entire time. I thought she was at home. Interesting. Maybe this is like an advanced healing place. Oh, hello, Mr. Church, dude. Two weeks this time. You were expecting two weeks? Oh. Man, I, I guess the cleansing part in the previous episode is, it takes a lot of magic. Where are the birds going? Are they sensing danger? Wait, hold up. That's not normal. Oh? What's approaching us? There's like this divine light. Whoa. Who are these people? Hello, lady. She seems really important. He's got such a deep voice, but he's so tiny and cute. I mean, she's got to be super important if this, like, soundtrack is playing as soon as she enters, right? <laughs> nice cameraman! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> the tits are moving back and forth! It's The bra looks like a cup, like, for alcohol, like sake. You know, the really long, wide ones? And then her tits look like the water, just like... <laughs> Dude, there was no need for the cameraman to focus on the tits for that long. <laughs> Let alone the immediate zoom in on to hello. Strapping young men. Mm, yes, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a... Young though? Elias isn't young? I guess she's super ancient. Okay, dude. I guess he doesn't like humans at all. A bag of flesh, huh? Queen of fairies. So every Jesus, those tits are so just boy. It's like a wide titanium. Alright, whatever, whatever. Did they just mention a king? The queen just left the king. Al okay, maybe we'll meet the king later. <laughs> Foreign god, because he's from a church. So, are you, are you also a god? Oh, a sniffer. Oh, what, what are you smelling there? The foreign god, I guess? Oh? We kneel to the one who condemned the fruit of paradise as evil or not welcome, because, like, Bible! Oh, bye-bye! Because, you know, Adam and Eve, the forbidden fruit, but they're saying the fruit isn't forbidden in their religion? Or, uh, by yeah, Simon? After the hour of honey wine. I, I don't, I don't understand all these different references. <laughs> Is this the king? I don't know. Uh, probably not. Oberon. Oh, it is the king. Oh, okay. I was right. So there's the king. That's the queen. He's getting a little defensive, I guess. They seem pretty playful so far, but I feel like we should be scared of them. I don't know. Who wears a shell of flesh? Hmm? They keep calling him a halfling. And he admitted it, he's a halfling, but I don't know what a halfling like. That's what? False kindness. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Man. He, he's such a silly, you know, silly kind of like uh, random person. And then suddenly he got so serious. That kind of hit hard. False kindness. It's, I can't get over her name, bro. Titania. Her tits are titanic. You know how Chisei is a slave beggy. And slave beggies attract all kinds of different fairies around her. They are the king and the queen of fairies. Were they also attracted by Chisa? Why is she so surprised? That was like, what? She surprised the king or the fact that Chisa got out? What's, what's going on? Whoa, all these different plants are suddenly growing. Our Robin. She's their Robin? Name of birds. I don't understand these references. Why are you calling her Robin? <laughs> hey, hold up. She's taken by another guy that's clearly older. Anyways. Warning. 
Oh, immediately runs after. Oh, I mean, she's pretty much habituated. Hatchlings <laughs> imprinting, that sounds even worse. Oh, she's touching her hair. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let me touch that hair. <laughs> Surprised she's not sniffing her, too. Titania. Bro, relax. Bro, relax. That, that's also. Awesome. What is. How does Elias. You know, I always wondered. Have you watched Overlord? Because, uh, you know, I. How does he have sex with uh, Albedo? He seems like a fool, but when he gets serious, the contrast between the fool and the serious person. What the fuck? <laughs> but the contrast is. What do you mean he's one of those people into bestiality? Yes. Hmm? You have kids, you know, when a boy and a girl fall in love, they might do that thing and then boom, kids. <laughs> Look at it get flushed. <laughs> kind of cute. Your gut. What? Is he developing feelings? Stop. I mean, his, his, uh, he did start off the kid conversation, but Elias actually felt human emotions there? His gut, he felt something. So I guess it's not impossible for him to actually start understanding and have empathy later? Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> you intend us to let us come home? What? What do you, what do you mean? We're, it's almost like we're not invited right now. What? Huh? I'm so confused about that whole interaction, but goddamn, look at those tits! No wonder she's called Titania. Why are we not allowed in there? Shell of flesh. I don't understand that part, because it's not flesh, it's like a skeleton, but they call it a skeleton shell. Those with shells bring only calamity. Do, do all halflings have shells like that? Jeez. Elias is banned. Maybe she says allowed, but Elias is really just not allowed. Yeah, you are so mean, man. Holy, bro, he's so racist. People and spirits lost because of him? Hmm? I guess humans really fucked up the fairies in the past, but somehow the halflings are involved too. Christmas pudding. Since the day we came home, she's been... Damn, the prep time. God damn, you gotta say it's delicious for her. Silver is the best. She doesn't say much, but god damn, she's adorable. Umai! Okay, gotta say Oishi. Oishi is more, I don't know, cute. I like it when they say Umai! What is the CGI? Graves. Huh? He's a bit... Who is this guy? New character, I guess. Okay, what do we learn this episode? Renfred is a little bit more complex than we think. The sorcerers, they might not be all the same. Renfred is definitely on the side of humans. Now, the fairy king and queen, they fucking hate humans. I mean, well, not really. Sprigan does, but the humans apparently did something bad to the fairies in the past, and so did the halflings. I don't really know what the shell of a flesh really means. Does that mean at least it's like half human? I, I, don't, I don't really understand. But what's more important is three years timeline before we die. But the experiment will save us. Now, new character at the end. Maybe he's going to be an enemy. Maybe friend. I think he's going to be friend because I see the opening him sometimes. So anyways, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.